caffeine, caffeine is a stimulant, a chemical that speeds up your brain and nervous system. It's found in coffee, tea, soda, and energy drinks, powering billions of people every morning. For most, it isn't just a drink, it's a ritual. The day doesn't begin until that first sip hits. Once you drink it, caffeine enters your bloodstream and quickly travels to your brain. There, it blocks a chemical called adenosine, which is what tells your brain it's tired. So caffeine doesn't give you energy, it just hides your exhaustion. Your neurons start firing faster, your heart beats stronger, and suddenly you feel sharper, more alive. Within 20 to 30 minutes, the peak kicks in. You're focused, energized, and motivated. The world feels clearer, easier, more controllable. It's not euphoria, it's confidence in a cup. But as your body breaks it down, adenosine floods back and you crash. That clear focus fades into irritability, jitteriness, and the creeping thought that maybe one more coffee will fix it. Caffeine is mildly addictive, but it hides behind routine. Over time, your brain adjusts and stops producing as much natural alertness. You need more caffeine to feel normal. Quit suddenly and you'll notice it. Headaches, fatigue, and brain fog. We joke about needing coffee to live, but that's withdrawal disguised as culture. The truth is, caffeine doesn't wake you up. It just delays your tiredness until later. Nicotine. Nicotine is a fast-acting stimulant found in tobacco and vapes. The chemical that hooks people, not the smoke itself. It's inhaled through smoke or vapor, and within seconds, it hits the brain, releasing a surge of dopamine, the chemical that makes you feel calm, focused, and content. At first, it feels perfect. Your heart rate rises just a little, your thoughts clear up, and stress melts away. That's the onset, a brief, clean high that feels controlled. For a few minutes, your brain runs smoother, but nicotine burns out quickly. As dopamine fades, the calm turns into tension, restlessness, and a craving for another hit. That's the come down, and it's what keeps people chained to the cycle. Each puff gives temporary relief from the discomfort that the last puff created. That's the trap. Nicotine doesn't actually relax you. It just resets withdrawal. Your brain learns that peace only exists between cravings. Over time, nicotine changes how your brain releases dopamine, meaning without it, everything feels dull and flat. Physically, it damages your lungs, blood vessels, and heart. But mentally, it's even worse. It convinces you that you can't cope without it. Alcohol. Alcohol is a depressant, meaning it slows down your brain and nervous system. It's drunk everywhere, at parties, dinners, celebrations, commiserations. People drink to loosen up, to forget, or just to belong. Once it enters your bloodstream, it starts disrupting how your brain communicates with itself. At first, that feels good. The onset brings warmth, relaxation, and a sense of confidence. You feel more open, more social. Your thoughts quiet down, your body relaxes, and the moment feels easy. For a while, alcohol seems like the key to connection. Then comes the peak. Judgment fades, emotions rise. You talk louder, laugh harder, maybe cross lines you wouldn't sober. The body starts losing balance, coordination slips, but the brain still feels like everything's fine. That's the illusion. Alcohol slows your brain while convincing you you're still in control. Eventually, the come down hits. The fun tilts into exhaustion. The warmth turns heavy. The buzz turns blurry. Hours later, you're dehydrated, nauseous, and foggy. The next morning, your brain chemistry crashes completely. The hangover. Alcohol is addictive in quiet, familiar ways. The more often you drink, the more your brain expects it to relax. Soon, you're not drinking for fun, but just to feel normal. Over time, it damages your liver, weakens your heart, and erodes your self-control. It's a chemical that makes you feel alive while slowly dulling everything that makes you human. Cannabis. Cannabis is a psychoactive drug made from the marijuana plant. It's most often smoked, vaped, or eaten as an edible. The main active chemical is THC, which interacts with the brain's endocannabinoid system, the network that regulates mood, memory, and perception. When THC enters the bloodstream, it rushes to the brain and binds to receptors that normally handle natural chemicals called anandamides, molecules that help you feel relaxed and balanced. That's when the onset hits. Time slows down, your senses sharpen, and everything feels slightly funnier, warmer, softer. At its peak, 
cannabis can heighten creativity and calm, or tip into confusion and paranoia depending on the dose and mindset. Music sounds deeper, colors feel stronger, and ideas seem profound. It's a distortion of normal reality that feels both dreamy and focused at once. As the come down begins, thought slows, speech drifts, and tiredness sets in. For some, it's gentle. For others, it's heavy, an invisible fog that lingers into the next morning. Cannabis is mildly addictive, but mostly psychologically. Regular use can dull motivation, mess with short-term memory, and in heavy doses, trigger anxiety or panic. It's often called harmless, but it quietly reshapes how your brain rewards relaxation. Cocaine. Cocaine is a powerful stimulant made from coca leaves. It's most commonly snorted as a white powder, but can also be smoked or injected. Once it enters the bloodstream, it floods the brain with dopamine, blocking your body from reabsorbing it. Suddenly, your brain is drowning in pleasure signals. The onset is almost instant, a rush of euphoria, energy, and confidence. Your heart pounds, your pupils widen, and your brain feels electric. Every thought feels brilliant. Every move feels perfect. You feel untouchable. At the peak, you're fast, focused, and alive. But the brain's reward system is already burning through its fuel. The high is sharp and short. Within minutes, dopamine levels crash, and the comedown slams in. Anxiety rises, mood drops, and exhaustion hits. You crave more just to feel normal again. Cocaine is highly addictive. The brain quickly learns to link it with pleasure, motivation, and control. But it's an illusion. Each hit rewires you to need another. Over time, it damages the heart, constricts blood vessels, and rewires brain chemistry so deeply that joy without it feels impossible. MDMA MDMA, better known as ecstasy or molly, is a synthetic stimulant and hallucinogen. It's usually swallowed as a pill or capsule at parties or clubs. The chemical floods your brain with serotonin, dopamine, and oxytocin, the trio responsible for happiness, reward, and connection. As the onset begins, Warmth spreads through your body. Music sounds richer, lights shimmer, and touch feels electric. You feel deeply connected to friends, to strangers, to everything around you. The brain is running on maximum empathy. At the peak, serotonin levels spike and the world feels perfect. You dance for hours, you talk nonstop, you feel infinite. But MDMA burns through the brain's supply of serotonin so fast that within hours, the come down starts. Emotion drains out of you, replaced by emptiness, sadness, or exhaustion. The high leaves as suddenly as it arrived. Used too often, MDMA damages the neurons that release serotonin, making natural happiness harder to reach. Physically, it can overheat your body, dehydrate you, and in rare cases, cause organ failure. It's called a love drug because it makes you feel connected to everyone, but when it's over, you realize that connection was chemical, not real, and your brain's left paying the price. LSD. LSD is a hallucinogen, a mind-bending chemical that completely rewires how your brain processes reality. It's usually taken on tiny papers placed on the tongue, and the amount you ingest is microscopic, measured in millionths of a gram. Once it hits, LSD binds to serotonin receptors, particularly one called 5-HT2A, which helps shape perception and mood. That's when the onset begins. Patterns start moving. Colors shift. Sounds seem to glow. It's not like seeing hallucinations appear. It's like reality itself starts breathing. At the peak, which can last for hours, time loses meaning. Your sense of self, the part of your brain that says, I'm me, dissolves. You might feel connected to the universe, euphoric, terrified, or both. Emotions become physical. Music feels alive. The boundaries between thoughts and sensations blur until everything feels like one continuous wave. Then comes the come down, slow, gentle, like returning from orbit. Reality rebuilds itself piece by piece. You might feel calm, reflective, or emotionally drained. Some people describe it as a reset, others as being rewired. LSD isn't physically addictive, but it's unpredictable. The same dose can be bliss or nightmare, depending on your mindset and environment. It can also trigger flashbacks or anxiety long after the trip is over. LSD opens the mind, but it doesn't always close the door cleanly behind it. Ketamine Ketamine is a disassociative anesthetic, originally designed for surgery. 
It's used medically today in small doses to treat depression, but recreationally, it's taken for its out-of-body effects. It's snorted as a powder or injected in liquid form. When it enters your system, ketamine blocks a chemical messenger called glutamate, which helps your brain process sensory input and maintain awareness. The onset comes fast. Within minutes, the world starts to feel distant, muffled, almost dreamlike. At the peak, perception detaches completely. You might feel like you're floating above your body or watching your life from a distance, what users call the K-hole. Time stops making sense. You might see yourself from the outside or feel like you've left your body entirely. It's not always pleasant. For some, it's peaceful. For others, terrifying. As the come down begins, awareness slowly returns. Vision clears, speech reconnects, but the world still feels foggy. For a short while, it can leave you strangely calm, like your thoughts are moving underwater. Ketamine isn't classically addictive, but it builds tolerance fast. Heavy use can cause memory problems, bladder damage, and emotional numbness. It can disconnect you from pain, but also from meaning. It's a drug that separates body from mind, and sometimes they don't fully meet again. Opioids. Opioids are painkillers that come from the opium poppy or are made synthetically in labs. They're used medically as morphine or oxycodone, but on the street, they show up as heroin or fentanyl. They're swallowed, smoked, snorted, or injected, and all work the same way. They attach to opioid receptors in your brain and body, blocking pain and flooding you with euphoria. The onset brings warmth, comfort, and relief. A deep, heavy calm that feels like safety itself. Pain fades, stress disappears, and your body melts. It's not an energetic high. It's like sinking into the world's softest blanket. At the peak, everything slows. Breathing becomes shallow. Your heartbeat slows, and thoughts drift. It's bliss, but dangerously close to unconsciousness. Many users chase that feeling, but each time it's shorter, weaker, harder to reach. Then comes the come down, and it's brutal. Anxiety, muscle pain, nausea, sweating, insomnia. Every nerve in your body screams for the drug again. That's withdrawal. It doesn't just make you want more. It makes life unbearable without it. Opioids are among the most addictive substances known. They rewire the brain's survival system teaching it that the drug is as essential as air. Over time, they destroy tolerance, organs, relationships, everything. The warmth they give in the beginning is the same warmth they take away from everything else in life. Methamphetamine. Methamphetamine is a powerful stimulant, a chemical that floods your brain with dopamine and adrenaline, supercharging everything at once. It's often taken by smoking, swallowing, snorting, or injection, and within seconds, it hits like a lightning bolt. As the onset begins, energy explodes. Your heart races, your mind sharpens, and every sense turns up to maximum volume. You feel awake, unstoppable, invincible. Talk becomes fast, thoughts move quicker than words, and sleep feels completely optional. At the peak, the rush is pure intensity. Confidence turns into euphoria. Motivation becomes obsession. You might clean your whole house, talk for hours, or chase a goal that suddenly feels like destiny. It feels like control, but your brain's just burning through its entire dopamine supply in one go. Then comes the come down, and it's harsh. Energy vanishes. The mind crashes into exhaustion, depression, and paranoia. The world feels gray, slow, and empty. A chemical hangover that can last for days. Meth is extremely addictive. Each high rewires your brain to crave that rush again, while destroying the system that creates pleasure naturally. Over time, it leads to severe weight loss, insomnia, hallucinations, and memory loss. Meth gives you energy that feels infinite, until you realize it's stolen from your future self. Psilocybin, better known as magic mushrooms, is a hallucinogen found in certain fungi. It's eaten raw, brewed as tea, or ground into capsules. Once consumed, the body converts psilocybin into psilocin, which interacts with serotonin receptors in the brain. The onset starts within half an hour. Your senses sharpen, patterns shimmer, and reality begins to ripple. Laughter comes easily. Music feels alive. You're aware of everything at once. Your body, your breath, the air around you. At the peak, 
Perception transforms completely. Colors pulse, time stretches, and you may feel a deep connection to nature, memory, or emotion. Some describe it as enlightenment, others as chaos. It's like your mind dissolves into something bigger, beautiful or overwhelming, depending on what you bring into it. As the comedown arrives, thoughts settle. The world slowly rebuilds itself. You might feel peaceful, grateful, or emotionally open, but for some, it leaves confusion or anxiety that lingers for days. Psilocybin isn't physically addictive, but it's powerful. It can help people break old patterns or, in the wrong setting, trigger panic or psychosis. Mushrooms don't show you something new. They just pull back the curtain on what's already in your mind. Benzodiazepine. Benzodiazepines, or benzos, are sedatives prescribed to treat anxiety, panic attacks, or insomnia. They're usually taken as pills, and they work by enhancing GABA, a brain chemical that slows down activity and brings calm. After swallowing one, the onset feels like relief. Muscles loosen, thoughts quiet, and the world stops feeling so sharp. Your heart slows, your body relaxes, and stress drifts away like fog. At the peak, everything feels soft and distant. Worry fades, time drifts, and sleep comes easily. But as the come down starts, drowsiness turns to confusion, memory slips, and emotion flattens. With frequent use, the brain forgets how to stay calm without it. Benzos are highly addictive, especially when used beyond prescription. Over time, tolerance builds fast, meaning you need more for the same calm. Stopping suddenly can cause anxiety, tremors, or even seizures, a withdrawal that can be dangerous without medical help. They quiet your mind, but silence can be addictive. The danger isn't the calm they bring, it's how easily they convince you that you can't live without it.